Hello, uh, welcome back to forestry. It's been a very long time since I've done a video with forestry, but I actually want to do the bees and I want to see if I can actually do it properly. Um, so basically the best way to start is with forest and meadows in a uh, plains biome. Now the important thing, to, the really first, the most important thing um, with the bees is that there's 13 chromosomes. The first chromosome is the species, and the species is the chromosome that is the most important and is the one that, um, um, when you have uh, mutated bees, it's the one that you actually see in the name. Um, and one of the things that I like to um, think about, and, the, and then, so the, that's the most important thing. Um, one of the things I like to think about, um, I'm not quite sure if I'm correct with this, but I am going to just think about it, is that if you had, say, a, um, a creeper on this square, who wasn't being observed, um, then the chances that he would be making it to this square just by randomly walking around, assume the creeper was walking around, not just standing still, um, but assume he's just constantly walking around, chances he'd make it to this square are far higher than if he would, than he would make it to this square. And that's kind of the way that I like to think of it, like with regards to the, the traits. Um, so there's, like I said, there's 13 chromosomes. So that's just a way that I'd like to think about. I'm not sure if it's correct. I have a feeling it might be sort of correct, but um, that's a good way to, for me. That's how I'm going to think about it anyway. Um, yeah, but it's not going to be relevant at all to what I'm doing here. I just wanted to think of that just in case it was correct. So anyway, there's 13 traits. First one, like I say, is the most important species. And then we have lifespan, speed, pollination, fertility, uh, flowers, uh, area, effect, temperature, humidity, nocturnal, flying, cave. All right. Let's get some APUs down because it's going to take a while, I think. So, yeah. All right. So we're going to, um, we've got some, uh, uh, not quite sure we're going to have problems with the graphics. So we're just going to turn everything to crap. Um, I don't care too much here. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, I suppose. All right. So, all right, so the thing that we have to recognize, first of all, is say we have, um, we're going to look at a forest uh, at the moment. So we're going to take a forest princess, and we're going to take a forest drone. All right, so let's do this multiple times. Forest Princess, Forest Drone. And if we look at the uh, the Punnett square for this, what we're going to see is that each time we're going to get a Forest Princess, Forest Drone. Okay. So this is not the right one to do, I don't think, actually. But in fact, it was probably not a bad idea to do this one to start with. Can I speed this up? I think you can speed up with the soul frame. No, oh, I haven't put any flowers in. Is the soul frame going to speed it up, I wonder? take a ridiculous amount of time. So it might be here a while. But 
doesn't matter to me that much. These are the regular ones from Forestry. So that one's over there now. That one's way back. Oh, right, let me just use soul frames for the whole lot. I don't think it's going to make much difference. I think this is just to do with speed, and it might it might have some extra effect, but at this stage I don't really care. I'm just trying to get it done fast. I mean, bees are not very fast there, let's be honest. Let's put them all in here. Alright, we should be cooking now. So that one's about halfway done. Alright, so that's going to be the first one. So. Hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if we get all pristine back. I am wondering about that. Now let's think about the first mutation that we can do. Um, so the first mutation I want to do uh, get some more apiaries here. All right. All right. So what we want to do now is we want to do um, um, we want to mix. Oh, actually, we can't do a mutation yet. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. That is not a good idea. That was not such a smart move. And in fact, uh, I do wonder what is going to happen here. Hmm. Mm. This one is almost done there, which is good. Let's just see what happens if we do the meadows as well. We're going to be working with meadows, and the whole point is to get, at this point, is to get like, try and get common and get cultivated and stuff like that. The very basic ones. Let's put some. Uh, I just wonder what happens when you do this. And all right, Meadows Princess, Meadows Drone. I didn't need to take so many stacks of the. All right, we'll do another one here. All right, so the other one should be done by now. All right, let's just empty my. I'm going to need to empty my inventory a lot, so I may as well start here. All oh, right, so there's the meadows one. So this one, uh, this one was the first one I did. The forest queen. So the forest queen is dying. Um, I'm gonna just. I, I don't think the soul frames do are gonna have. All right. So what do we get? We got three drones. Hmm. We get told the princess is pristine. I don't believe any of the other alleles would have changed, though. Yeah, I think, to be honest, one is, this is just, it just hasn't been through the the drone. You see, it's still the same number here, so it hasn't been through the uh, B-alizer yet. So I think it's the same. So it's not hugely useful, that. But then we could just carry on. So you could, in, in, in essence, just carry on making more um, pure breeds just by doing that. Um, one thing I should do though is, yeah, I should have done that before really. All right, let's just put these in here. All 
All right, so these are all working. But anyway, we don't really want to work with these at the moment anyway. What we want to do is we want to put in the forest princess and we want to put in a meadows drone. So it doesn't matter which order you do these in. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, that seems to say all the stuff. All right, so what happens here is that with the... Uh, yeah, what does happen here, actually? I don't even know what happens here. I know what happens when you put hybrids in, but I'm not sure what's going exactly going to happen here. So I put the Forest Princess so we get Forest Queen here. I wonder if there's a chance of mutation here. Because it's like putting, like... Well, think about it. It's Meadows, Meadows with Forest, Forest. Yeah, oh, actually, sorry, I do have this one. This is the first one. So, yeah, so what's going to happen here is that in every situation, um, it's gonna we're going to get me Meadow Forest in 100% in of cases. That's what's going to happen. Um, now, the thing about Meadow Forests is that... Um, they can then mutate into common. All right, so we want a lot of these. All right, so let's just get. Um, it doesn't it? Like I said, it doesn't matter which uh, forest princess. So yeah, we'll get some. We'll get a few forest princesses, and we've got a load of more uh, drones here. So there goes the princess. There's the drone. Sulfuring time. Yeah. Alright, so we want loads of these things because these are the ones we're actually going to use. In fact, all the rest of the stuff that I've just done is a waste of time. I just wanted to see if it was going to be pure breed ones there. Alright, but we have got a shitload of stuff now. Alright. All right, so let's just uh, fill these up with soul frames, like so. All right. All right, so if we look at the ones that we've just done here, we're going to see, um, that's interesting, the comb has actually already been made. Um, so these are all, all right, so we've got some more to do in here. I will put uh, Forest Princess. Did not take the right Meadows drone? Yeah, we'll take these ones. Like I said, I think they're the same, but I just want to be 100% sure. I can go back to some of these ones because I filled these up. Uh, and like I mentioned, no different. It doesn't matter that I'm not using. It does. It just doesn't matter which way you do this. But basically, what's going to happen here is we're going to get loads. Now, what actually is going to happen is that there now there's a chance of mutation. Yeah. So what will happen is um, with a mix, um, well, no, sorry, there's not mutation at this stage. Yeah, let me just write this in a book. <laughs> All right. So the way it works then is, uh, is right, at the beginning, there is a, there is a hive basically. Um, um, say so. Say you have a forest bee. Uh, the forest, the forest hive. Uh, has a bee. As 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 some as sometimes princesses 
has always I think it's always got a princess. Has always got a forest princess inside. Sometimes it has forest drones. Now if we, um, if we mix together, if we breed, if we breed together the the pure, uh, if we breed together these bees, these bees, which incidentally are pristine bees, I think this might not be that might not be entirely true, but I'm pretty sure it has been true in the past. So I'm just going to assume that that's the case. Um, which incidentally are pristine bees. Um, um, then we get more forest bees. <laughs> if we mix together uh, if we mix together the pure forest bee Look at the next page here. Wait a minute. If we mix together the pure forest bee. No, 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 no. I know what to do. This bee, like all other bees, has 13 chromosomes. The first chromosome the species chromosome is the most important. It governs what type of bee uh, all right. uh, is the most important. Uh, each type of pristine bee has its own genome with unique alleles uh, for each chromosome. All right. Now, if we if we mix together a pure forest bee with a pure meadows bee we will always get hybrids. Additionally there is a chance of mutation. All right. So yeah, so that's basically that's Oh wait a minute. All right, I don't want to leave it there yet. So what's going on with these bees? Not dying very quickly, are they? Isn't there another frame I can use here? I wonder if this is going to make any difference. I just want to die faster, really. There we go, yeah, I'll just use oblivion frames now, I can't be really fucked with those other ones. All right, let's get rid of all the, uh, well, we don't want to get rid of the book actually, so let's get rid of everything else. Yeah, I'm going to use oblivion frames, it's going to make this much faster, this process. All right, so from there, we 
we got various drones. All right. What's I think of B? Where's the Bionizer? There it is. Nope. Okay. Let's have a look what we've got here. So you can see we've got mo meadows forest bees here. So the reason it's called meadows forest is because red means dominant and blue means recessive. If they're both dominant, then the it, we look at we take the active gene to be the active um, chromosome. Yeah, what would it be? Yeah, no, we'd say the active allele would be the meadows, and we'd read it from left to right. If they're both recessive, we read it from left to right. If the act, if the uh, if the um, the active species, you see, the funny thing is, is that it would actually be um, in terms of dominance, even though. If this was, uh, if meadows was uh, recessive, and forest was dominant, uh, and forest was dominant, then uh, the dominant gene would actually be active um, in terms of the breeding. So it's kind of like, so the chart doesn't make that much sense. But anyway, so this is a meadows forest, which is what we want. Um, forest, forest. So meadows forest is going to be the same as um, ah. So you can see there's been a mutation here, forest common. Um, and that's because, yeah, so that is very, very interesting. So now we do have that information. I wonder if it actually, does it show that all of them? No, it doesn't because we haven't done it yet. So you see, this is a forest common. I mean that's good because with a common with a forest common, um, we can actually we've got a chance of getting uh, pure breed commons, and we can also um, um, so any time. All right, let me go back to the book. Yep. Yeah. Um, I just want to do this with a unique set of alleles. So, uh, so yeah. All right. So basically, really, all I'm saying there is that the alleles are the uh, variation for what that chromosome value is going to be. So it's 13 chromosomes and they're the definition. So inside this chromosome, we've got a uh, variance in terms of what the allele could be. So it could be, it could be anything. It could be true, false. That is the, that, that that's like the, uh, the parameter of the, um, of the, um, you know, of the chromosome. Okay. If you mix together a pure forest bee with a pure meadows bee, we always get hybrids. Um, additionally, there's a chance of mutation. So let me just, um, I just want to confirm what I've just said there. So we'll call, we mix together a pure, um, a pure meadows, uh, meadows meadows with a forest forest. That's what we did. And, uh, and if we look at every single one of these, we've got a meadows forest here. Got a forest meadows here. So every single one of these, 
And you can see this says uh, forest meadows and this says meadows forest. But they both say hybrid. These bees are actually, um, for all intents and purposes, exactly the same. Now, they're, now, now, what I mentioned right at the beginning is something kind of important, where they're like with that creeper going to st stay in the same. Because in terms of the other um, chromosomes, if if the um, allele values, this is this is what I speculate, but I just have a feeling it might be correct. If the uh, values for the uh, allele um, you know, I'll just say the chromosome values for now, but no, no, like, yeah, if the value is inside the chromosome, I, this is why I wish I'd better programming, really. Um, if the values inside were, if the values inside were better, you know, if the values, sorry, if the values inside were closer to a pristine B of another species, then I believe that the chance of mutation, it might become closer to that chance of mutation because there's a random chance that a different, um, um, the, the, uh, the, the allele in the, uh, the chromosome is going to mutate, it's going to change. Um, but this is what I'm not sure about, whether the, the, the new stuff just gets sort of like imprinted on or if, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure about it, I suppose. I shouldn't really keep on commenting about that. I don't think it's right, so I'm not going to think about it anymore. All right. So, like I say, but 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 yeah, the meadows forest. So this is the thing: meadows forest is the same as forest meadows. Um, it doesn't matter which order you put the the queen, um, the princess, or the um, drones in. And this time we've got meadows forest hybrid. And what happened to my other one? I don't want to run lose that one. The forest common hybrid. All right, so you can see that we're getting a mutation, perhaps, from uh, to get to common. Uh, yeah. So, what can we say from this? Well, let's do this again. I'm going to do um, more princesses. I'm going to get a meadows drone. Get the meadows drone and we'll get the forest princess again. Like I say, I'm not doing this in any order. Um, forest princess. I'm going to use these oblivion frames because they seem to just work much, much faster. All right, so we take the forest princess and the meadows drone. So yeah, this is what we want because if we keep on getting the mutations, then we've got, if we keep on getting uh, uh, hybrids, then most of the time, most of the time, it's going to end up like, for instance, in there we had a three to one ratio, didn't we, of um, basically uh, meadows forest hybrids, but we also had the one B that was the forest common hybrid, which is is what was uh, required. Um, I just need to keep on checking its daytime. All right, so we're going to move these up. We do have some, uh, that is a useful bee. I'm going to leave that one there for the moment. Um, and we're going to take these out. So this is interesting, isn't it? The, all right. So let's have a look at the princess, actually. So the princess is Meadows Forest. Okay. So that's going to be the same. So you see, we might not happen every time that we get... It does seem to happen quite a lot there. Meadows common. And there's a forest common. And actually, interestingly, these two, there's actually a 25% chance that we could get a pure common out of this. I guess that kind of makes sense in the Pine Square, doesn't it? Because you get, yeah, you can get, um, for instance, if you think of the Punnett Square, and luckily I've actually drawn it just to... Um, so imagine it like this. So Forest Common and Meadows Common. So we could get the... could get a Forest Meadows. 
Um, um, one second, let me just think about this. Hmm. Yeah, you see, the thing about this, right, is that when you put it into the uh, the Punnett square, it's not. I mean, it looks like if you just look at the four the four words, it looks like that you could get a, a forest meadows and a meadows forest, but in fact, you can't. Because there's only four options that are going to come out of this. One is going to be a common common. One is going to be a common forest. One is going to be a meadows common. And one is going to be a meadows forest. No, it does make sense though. I, mean, I wonder if you just think what in, in what ways can we so wait a minute forest meadows forest common yeah really you can look at it like this in what ways can we um, it's almost like all right let's go back to the book uh, uh, specifically into the common uh, into common bees into a hybrid common bee uh, in this instance in this instance what do we get we've got forest common and meadows common okay Oh, I think I'm. Oh, it doesn't matter. In this instance, we've got a forest common and a meadows common. Okay. Um, now imagine. Uh, And the numbers one, two, three, four. All right, so we can have one, one. No, sorry, we can have um, one, three. Uh, the numbers one, two, three, four, and only one number, and only one number. Uh, are two sets with the first set consisting of the numbers one are two sets set X being one and two so that means forest and common. And set so Y is to be uh, three and four here. So that's going to be um, meadows and common. Uh, now, and now, and uh, uh, so now I'm just going to explain this because I'm not going to fit otherwise. Um, now we're going to take one value from each set. So we could have one, three. We could have one four. We could have two three, and we could have two four. So, all right, and I can't actually go back up. So that's very annoying. So that's basically how we can do it. So one three is forest meadows. One four 
forest common and again the order is not relevant and then we can have two three which is common meadows and then we can have two four common com uh, yeah so that's a pure uh, and that's a, a, a pure common there well anyway I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um I, I just put it meh. okay that's a pure common when it's a common common like that because obviously a pure forest is a forest forest so as you can see right what this means is there's um 25 percent chance of a pure common Again, a 25% chance of what we've already had, the forest meadows. Um, um, and then the uh, the 50%, yes, yeah, so, sorry, 25 for pure common, 25 for uh, the same one we've already had, the meadows forest hybrid, and then a 50% um, chance for a common hybrid. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's a chance. Um, most of the time, uh, we'll we'll get forest meadows bees. Um, yeah. So that is, um, that's that. All right, so one more thing that I wanted to do here is, so let's actually, well, we've got, oh, here's our, here's our, our good bees here. We're not gonna worry about those bees though. You know, we may as well look at the shit ones. So here's a, here's a forest meadows and a meadows forest. So these are shit bees. Now, in fact, before I do that, let me just uh, write one final page in the booklet here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna write exactly the same thing. So in this instance, um, we got a, mod a meadows forest and another meadows forest. So again, using the same rules. How did I write this before? So set X. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Um, um, so we're going to write set X. Uh, one and two, and set Y is three and four. So let's just check I did this. So we're gonna do one, three. Uh, one, three will be uh, meadows, meadows. One, four, just uh, not do it like that. So it's kind of like quite a, quite a cool system really. One, four will be uh, Meadows Forest. Um, two, three, it's gonna be Forest Meadows. And remember, like I said before, Meadows Forest and Forest Meadows are exactly the same. And two, four are um, uh, Forest Forest. So in this instance, we've got a 50% chance of pure bees and 50% chance of um, of hybrid bees. Um, so that's not the best, really, because if we want we want hybrid bees, because like you saw when we did when we mixed together the meadows, the pure meadows with the pure forest, we got we got those common hybrids both times. 
Um, and that's because we got four mutate four um, uh, hybrid bees each time. This time we're we're gonna we're gonna get back two pure forests and two pure. Let's have a look. See if that's actually happened. Uh, is that not the one I did? Hmm. Well, like I say, we have got a common drone actually. Is that the first common drone we've got? Wow. Hmm. I have to admit that that was kind of surprising. In fact, we've got two of them. I wonder if the oblivion frames are having something to do with it. It might be. Oh, I've got it here, haven't I? Oops. All right. Let's have a look here. So what are these common drones? So that's a common forest. So yeah, like I say, I mean, this was a... Basically, there was a 50% chance. No, sorry, what? Actually, yeah. Because we did a Meadows Forest with a Meadows Forest. We've got a common forest. Probably another common forest or common meadows. Oh, we got a pure breed there. So that would indicate to me, actually, that... Um, Hmm. Well, we certainly got pure bees back, didn't we? We didn't get pure meadows or pure forest bees back there. There's a forest meadows. And there's a forest common. Wow, we got very good results from that. But yet, when we wrote down in the book, it didn't look like the results were going to be that good at all. Hmm. Oh, I didn't press done in the book. Oh. Well, maybe it's for the best. Hmm. Let's do a bit more testing here. Meadows Princess. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't actually. That's interesting though, we got to common drone when we did Meadows Forest. Wait a minute, we've got common forest here. There's a forest meadows. So we've got forest meadows there and a meadows forest here. Let's see if that was just a one off. Yeah, it was. And that's the thing. It was actually just a one-off from the looks of it. So we look at these three bees on the left-hand side here. Forest meadows. See, there's the forest forest. This is the results that I was anticipating before. Yeah, this is exactly the end. I'm gonna to have to rewatch that video, but I'm sure that the only reason I could have, the only way I could have got a, a purebred forest, if I if it was if I had mixed together, 
You see, I've got a forest common here. Let's mix together these two. We've got the commons meadow and the forest common. You see, these two, um, sorry, meadows common, forest common. Let's just check. Yeah. Meadows, oh wait, sorry, yeah. Forest common and meadows common. So now in this one, we should have 25% chance for common. Um, let's have a look at this. 20, yeah, it's 25% chance common, 50 cents for common hybrid, but there is a chance of mutation to cultivate. So it might be a cultivated for, and then 25% chance for, um, uh, just a regular um, meadows forest. But like I say, it is, it's, everything is just, you know, it's just literally this, this chance. So we've got some pretty good stuff here. So you can see that that was what I got from the luck. So even yeah, like I say, it is a bit luck of the draw. I don't think I don't think really anything has been particularly. Uh, so that is not the bee that I was looking at. This is the bee that we just got. There you go. You can see we've actually got cultivated. So even though that result where I got the common stuff, you know, I got these common bees, the uh, the common forest and the uh, just the common drone. Um, they looked good. Uh, and they were quite good actually. Um, that was and that was of course when I mixed together the, um, the meadows forest with another meadows forest. Um, and most of the time you will get just pure uh, breed meadows or pure breed uh, meadows fifty percent of the time, and then the other fifty percent you will, will get um, a hybrid bee. And in the case of, I mean, I have to admit, getting a pure breed common drone from that, I didn't expect to get that. Um, that one was a bit of a surprise that. Uh, um, that I got a pure breed common drone from uh, different meadows for so that that chance of that must be very very must be a much smaller chance. But um, as you can see, um, when I've just mixed together, uh, I think it was a common forest and a common meadows bee. Um, I've got a common cultivated hybrid, which is a very very good bee. Um, um, well, I mean at, at this stage it is anyway, and then a common forest. So yeah, um, I'm just going to briefly write up some more then. So yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll just leave the, the writing for now. I, I think it's probably just more fun just to look at the bees and sort of like to think about them in a certain way. Um, but like I say, um, so I think I'm going to leave it there. So thanks for watching.